Okay, so we had a leak. And uh, yeah, it was over here. And I had the water on for about you know, 20 minutes. I was running the faucet, filling the sink, making sure everything was draining properly over here, checking the gray water tanks. Uh, and then I noticed that the floor and this uh, piece of cardboard over here were kind of damp. I walked over and uh, sure enough, it was the water heater was leaking and big dummy me. Um, there's uh, two ways you can orient this water heater. You can orient it vertically or you can orient it um, to the side, depending on like what you're using it for. Um, so there's a plug over here that fills the other uh, another hole, and I put the brass plug in, but I didn't put any tape on it. I didn't, I didn't seal it, so it was just slowly dripping out the side here, um, down into this little electrical box. Going up the drawers here, and yeah, just wanted to show you what I did to make the drawers. Um, everything, all of the drawers are gonna be made out of half inch birch ply uh, that is pre-finished. Got a little boo-boo here, but that's okay. Um, yeah, just ran a dado through all of the bottoms and a rabbit on the sides quarter inch rabbit. Um, so when we go to assemble this, we'll have our drawer bottom in the middle, put everything together, glue it up, clamp it together. glued up and ready to go into the kitchen. Okay, here's the inside of the shower. So we've got, the walls are now insulated and the plumbing is in. We've used PEX plumbing, half inch, um, with the PEX crimps here to secure and seal everything. Got a little test shower tube up here. Um, and then this is just gonna be a really simple valve from Moen. Um, it's actually a shower tub valve, but I've gone ahead and plugged the bottom, so now it's just a shower. Um, we plugged everything in, got water hooked up to the Airstream the other day and um, had it under pressure for a long time. I uh, did find one leak over here. Just had to rewrap and tighten down the brass fitting into the shower. Yeah, and then um, we've gone ahead and put uh, rock wool insulation inside the wall frames. Um, and I've got the shower pan fixed in place here um, with a little bit of go board, um, which is a tile, tile ready board down there. Um, actually built a plywood box, which you can't see. But this is now in place, very sturdy. Does not move around when you walk on it. All right, cool. 
Next step is we're going to be putting this Go board. Um, it's a lightweight board. This is going to be going up and in and all throughout here. Cool. So this is what I've got going for the front couch area. Um, went ahead and grabbed some two by threes, dug fur, and cut everything down um, to actual two inches wide by one and an inch. Uh, just makes it easier to build that way. Sketched everything out on the floor, cut the top pieces a little bit longer because of the curves on the side. Um, like you can see over here, um, the top just goes all the way to the wall. And it's kind of the same style that I built the bed. Um, I've got two by twos as like the main vertical supports. Um, but anyway, what we're gonna hope to do soon here is just pocket hole every uh, support and all the top and bottom pieces, and then glue together the bottom piece, get everything squared up, set that in, then put the supports on, and then take that top piece and glue that all together and just set that on top and secure it. And then once that's all done, it'll be one piece. I'll take it outside and we'll sand it down um, and then coat it with polyurethane before we bring it back in and drill holes in the bottom pieces and secure it to the floor. And then after that, it's a pretty good frame. It's gonna be pretty solid, hopefully. And then we can start getting our electrical um, box in place so that we can start wiring things. Um, and then we can build drawers and then we can put you know faces on and I can build the top. And then the fun, kind of the fun part begins. All right, so we'll do that now. Okay, I'm wrapping up for today, but I'm just gonna walk through really quick and just show you some of the things I've been working on. Um, so we've got our cabinets are in here and they've been painted, so we've kind of finished that. And over this way, we've got the frame for the couch is built out. Next up, we're gonna be starting to wire all of the 120 volt and the DC into our power center there, which is gonna live underneath the couch. Okay, we go Towards the back here, we can stop at the bathroom really quick, see where we're at here. We've got our uh, toilet area over here is kind of getting built up, so it's like a little box there and we're going to end up tiling that. The countertop for the bathroom is cut and in place and I got all the cabinets built there, but we do have to do you know some paint and build drawers and put a face frame on it so that's not really close to done yet. Just got our sink in for the bathroom, so this is gonna end up over here somewhere. Um, and then here is where we're at on the shower. We've got our tile up, and we've got it grouted here. Same with the seat there, I got a little more tiling to do down there. And then I have to put a um, trim here. All right, it's a mess in here, I've been working all over the place. In the back, uh, we're getting pretty close to being able to put a bed, um, a mattress in here. Got these built up. Gotta get this painted, and then these aren't secured down yet. Uh, and then we're also gonna be doing some wiring for some outlets back here. But yeah, just working on a bunch of things at once. 